And welcome back, Gamer Nation. SKS here. I'm on the mend. I'm getting over some sickness. I've been down for about a week. But uh, we'll see how that goes. We're going to play some more Law and Order. Let's hit play. I think we're up to... Uh, um, let's see. This one I did. No killer smart. So we are up to episode four, Nobody's Child. And we've not started anything on New Year's Eve, 1999. The battered body of a boy is discovered in an alley. This investigation reveals a case of shocking abuse, along with criminal indifference in high places. Let's do this. This ought to be interesting. In the criminal justice system, the people are represented by two separate yet equally important groups. The police who investigate crime and the district attorneys who prosecute the offenders. These are their stories. I'll prosecute your offender. <laughs> Whatever that means. Oh, we're in Hell's Kitchen. Oh, you. You've had a bad day. Hell, kid, it ain't even midnight yet. You're jumping the gun. Tur shit. Well, every little bit helps. What? It's not like you're gonna use it. What do you expect me to do? Cry over your little broken body? <laughs> what the hell? All the cops. It's not like they're going to give two craps. How is everything else that's going down behind? What else is going down? Okay, damn it. Don't say I never did nothing for you. That kid is... <laughs> well, he's dead, obviously. But we got Ray. Yeah, well. And Briscoe. Oh, good lord. He's already at it. Midnight. Welcome to the new millennium. Looks a lot like the old millennium. Oh, happy, happy new year, everybody. It's 2000. We're, we're going to, uh, we're going to start it off with a killer kid. Or a kid that's been killed. Yes. That's okay, we got Lenny Briscoe here. He's here to, uh, take care of all of our stupid puns and jokes. I don't need to be used for this, but we'll see. Who's Adam Schiff? Has he even done anything for us yet? Where's the ME? She got called away. Assistant should be here with the body bag any time. Poor little kid. He doesn't look more than 12 years old. Oh shit, that's Some sad. Kid you live in, huh? Severe internal hemorrhaging. Broken radius, multiple contusions. Somebody beat him with a baseball bat? Nah, something with a sharper edge. Check out the gash across his scalp. He's also got a burn mark on his hand, definitely from a taser. A taser? Fresh. Time of death? Around eight, probably. Body's pretty stiff. No ID, nothing in his pockets. See the ring around the top of his head where his hair is plastered down? Hat hair. He was wearing a cap earlier today. I've heard of kids getting killed for their shoes, but their hats? What about the bag? It's a new millennium. We're killing for hats Why now. Why would he be holding an empty bag? Hey, detectives. Hi. I caught this guy hanging around outside the alley. Elijah the Prophet. You know him? Elijah. Sure. Picked him up at five for disturbing the peace. Found him standing on his shopping cart outside the Schubert, ranting about Y2K. I was just telling the people what the puppet masters don't want him to know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the puppet. Wait a second. So this is, this is New Year's night. We're in Hell's Kitchen, which is not that far away from Times Square and all that. Why are there so many people? It's quiet. We shouldn't be able to hear this person, but yet we're doing this. Let's talk to him. Why don't you tell me what you know about the dead kid over there? Yeah. I'm the one who reported the murder, okay? I'm the good guy here. <laughs> the good guy. Yeah? Well, before I put in for your good citizenship award, you got to tell me. What did you take from the body? What? Do I look like a grave robber? I didn't take nothing. <laughs> you have his hat on your head. <laughs> Correct. I'm so good at this game. Let's see. The beat cop told Briscoe he had arrested Elijah for robbery. Elijah's thief was caught on surveillance. Elijah's ID found inside the bag. The boy's cap was stolen and what Elijah is wearing is bloodstained. That's what I say. That cap doesn't fit you so well. It shrank in the wash. <laughs> or maybe you swipe it off the kid. All right, all right. He was through using it, wasn't he? Uh, now let me go. I gotta get over to the Lincoln Tunnel. Go protect my stockpile from looters. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> Y2K. What else? Murr. <laughs> I want you to turn over everything you took off the kid. Now. I'm homeless, officer. Everything I own is on me. So go ahead. Search. Is he telling the truth? Um... No. Wasn't he... He owns stuff, obviously, other places. Uh, let's see, Elijah reported the crime from a home phone. Elijah mentioned his stockpile. He had a shopping cart. Claim ticket, Elijah in the car. Oh, stockpile. There we go. This game is made for six-year-olds. That means you all will make fun of me. Saying something about her stockpile. Nobody gets near my stockpile. Nobody. I'm a citizen, I got a constitutional right to my stuff. It's there in the Fourth Amendment, pig. <laughs> I'll have to read it sometime. But meanwhile, <laughs> you're still the most likely. Citizen. I'll have to read it sometime. I like that one. Uh, nobody cares about Y2K. Okay, buddy, tell the truth. Did you do this? Kill a kid? You mean? You think I killed the kid and then turned around and reported it? Do I look crazy? Well... <laughs> uh, alibi. So, where were you at 8 o'clock this evening? Enjoying the hospitality of the 5th Precinct. I was in the holding tank. Uh, do we believe him? Uh, he was arrested, so I guess that means yes. Why don't we ask the beat cop? <laughs> Oh, beat cop. That true? Yeah, he was released about 8.30. Yeah, I guess that clears you. Well, he should have said that earlier. Time to put the screws to Prophet Elijah. Um, would we ever answer no to this? Look, I can take you down to the station right now and let the jackbooted thugs work you over, or you can take me to your stockpile. Which is it going to be? I'm not scared of you. Come the stroke of midnight, your police state's going to collapse. <laughs> Isn't it already past it? Jack o -lantern. Can Briscoe prove that Elijah is mistaken? Uh, yeah. If <laughs> we already said Happy New Year. Get Lieutenant Van Buren. Or he's kin to Martin. Y2K is his type. Quote Revelations 12.3. I saw a large red dragon with seven hands. <laughs> oh, I want to say that. I bet that's a red herring. I hate to burst your bubble, Mr. Prophet, but uh, it's already after midnight. Huh? 12.08. I should have known it would be off. Stupid tourist junk. But I don't get it. The system's supposed to be crashing. How come the streetlights are still on? We have this uh, super secret emergency backup system. Damn you guys. You think of everything. <laughs> we be smart. Should I call the station and have them charge up the cattle prods? No, that won't be necessary. Follow me. Follow me. There's my stockpile. Stuff I got from the kids' bag was in the bundle on top. Fossey program, Annie get your gun sweatshirt, cabaret mugs, one ticket to Aida. Hey, a credit card receipt. Yeah, that ought to get us somewhere. What? I... I just don't even... <laughs> it... We spend all that time, and all it leads us to is... A credit card receipt. I... I, I don't know, gamers. <laughs> Replacing, no. Mezzanine Plaza Hotel. Who's and this? The credit card people told you right where I was staying? They had a record of the hotel charge, Mrs. Tallis, and the hotel confirmed your books through the end of the week. Oh. Amazing. You managed to recover my stolen bag when I didn't even report the crime. That's the networked world for you. And here I thought all the networks were going to be down today. For God's sake. We're investigating the murder of the thief, and we'd like to ask you a few questions. Wow, that a <laughs> poor Briscoe. Of course. As long as I don't miss curtain time. We're catching Dame Edna tonight. Wait. I thought they were watching Aida. Here's a photo of the merchandise we recovered from the shopping cart. Do you see everything that was in your bag? I think so, yes. Aha! Uh -huh. So that's where my ticket to Aida went. 
I emptied out my handbag looking for that son of a gun. Had to miss the... Wait. Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty? Come again? There was a model of the Statue of Liberty, about yay high. It had a marble base with a clock in it. Uh, is that what the one guy had? I think it is. The Elijah was saving one item as his commission. Curtis mentioned that the transaction is recorded on the credit card. This item was found at the scene of the crime, currently in evidence locker. Prophet Elijah had a marble base with a clock attached. Uh, I guess. <laughs> That's what I think. Where was the bag stolen? Can you tell us where the bag was stolen? It was on 42nd Street, about, oh, 430. I was just coming from the half-price ticket booth, very pleased with myself. Very story. pleased. I'd managed to snag the very last ticket to a preview of Aida. I felt a tug, and before I knew what was what, eh, there he was, zipping away with my bag. Why don't people so hold their bags? To ID him. I'm afraid I didn't see his face, just his backside. Does this fit with the facts? Well, yeah. She's not lying. She has nothing to do with this, really. Beat Cop's report matches her story. Bag had a ticket to Aida in it. Uh, hotel bartender confirmed. Surveillance camera. Uh, just the bag. Stick with the facts, ma'am. Book them, Dano. New topics. Holy shit. Are they good topics? No. Well, we'll see here. What brought you to New York? The Millennium, of course. It's not the Millennium back in St. Louis? Well, of course. How do we know she's from there? Where the action is. My friends and I are part of the theater society. The Looky Loos. The Looky Loos? The trek once a year, usually in the fall. But this time around, we decided to wait a bit so we could be part of all the fun in Times Square. There is no way she'd be back at her apartment by then, then. Unless this is the next day. But it's dark back here. So I don't know. How come you didn't report the <clears throat> Well, I mean, it was New Year's Eve. I'm sure the police had their hands full just keeping the peace. So it was a courtesy to us? <laughs> well, yeah, that doesn't make that sense. And, you know, I'm flying back to St. Louis tonight, and what can I say? I guess I just chalked it up as a loss. She's... F she just said she was... Is she's gonna go watch that other story tonight. Now she's lying. Dame Edna, yeah, other theft occurred on New Year's Day, not New Year's Eve. She lived in Aspen, not to, nope. So she's why is she lying now? This doesn't make sense either. Leaving tonight. You're cutting the trip short? I thought you were seeing Dame Edna. Oh, that's right. Uh, today's only Tuesday. You see, <laughs> you've got me all flustered. Uh-huh. Well, let's see here. Mrs. Thomas, where were you at 8 o'clock last night? W was that the time of the murder? Are you asking me for my alibi? I am. You're lying. Not at all. This is just like that TV show. Uh, Wait till the girls hear about this. Law and Order? <laughs> I, was, I was at Aida, of course, with the other looking. But she didn't have her ticket. <laughs> Day bed, uh, credit card doesn't show. Miss Talis said the half price booth was closed. Aida's ticket was among the stolen items. Hmm. Wait, wasn't your ticket one of the things that was stolen? Yes, and it was the last one available. You caught me, detectives. Truth is, since I couldn't get in, I ended up killing time. Just milling about with the New Year's <laughs> What? I, I was waiting for the show to be over so I could meet up with the group and hear about it. I don't think it's going to run long. I don't even... This woman, is this real? Is she... I... I don't even... Did you get a good look at the thief? Oh, not really. It all happened so fast. Try to remember. You may have been the last person to see him alive. Oh, dear. He was just a boy, poor thing. Brown hair. 
I think he was wearing a sports jersey of some sort. It had a logo on the front of, you know, that team. The <laughs> team, team that plays the, the game with the ball. Wait, how did she see the front? She said she just saw his back. She's, God, she's lying. This woman, let's just throw her. The boy's coat was zipped up. She testified that she didn't know the sex of the thief. She said she only saw the boy from behind. She claims that she exaggerated, extremely nearsighted. She's lying. You saw the logo on the boy's jersey? I bet she's the one that tased him. Running away? Oh, well, no, what I mean is, I recognize the team colors. Which are? Y you know, green and gold. <laughs> what are you not telling us, Mrs. Tallis? Uh-oh. Well... I suppose I did see a bit more of the boy than I let on. I got into a bit of a tussle. A tussle? Before he got away. A tussle? Uh-oh, we have to ask about the tussle. The yes! You got into a tussle. I'm not entirely naive, you know. I'm well aware how rough the streets of Manhattan can be, <laughs> especially on New Year's Eve. Uh, let's just say I came prepared. Oh. May I? I feel just awful about it now, knowing what happened to the boy, you know, after... <laughs> Why'd you pull out like a buoy knife? Instinct of self-preservation <laughs> kicking in. Now, from the looks of it, your instincts are quite healthy, Mrs. Tallis. Did you go after the thief with any of these weapons? No. Oh. Of course not. He was just a child. I'd never risk hurting a child. Oh, she's so full of crap. I don't believe her at all now. Oh. Tussle. <laughs> Curtis said there's a taser board on the boy's hand. Curtis said the boy's clothes contained traces of mace. Curtis said the boy had been struck with a blackjack. <laughs> Mrs. Dallas said her policy was to take out anyone who threatened her, her property. <laughs> oh, wow. We found a taser burn on the boy's hand. Uh-oh. Did you? Uh-oh. Yes, I suppose I may have tased him. Uh, not badly, mind you. Just a little mini tase. <laughs> mini tase. Then I grabbed from my bag and we tussled. But he got away. We Children tussled. Are slippery. She's. <sighs> We've already talked about that and nobody cares. Mrs. Dallas, how would you like front row tickets to a new drama? It's playing down at the Manhattan Criminal Court building. Now, wait a minute, detective. You don't seriously think that you're holding something back? Yes. So why don't you hand it over? Uh oh. It's the boy's backpack. I pulled it off him when we were, you know, tussling. Right. Uh, I said to him, "Give me my bag, and I'll give you yours." But he just took off without it. I guess he was scared. And why would she why keep that? Tell us this at the start. Yeah. Take a look inside. You'll see his trinkets are considerably more valuable than mine. I figured I got the better deal in the exchange, and it would have made such a great punchline to my story. I don't even know at this point. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I guess next time we're going to be rummaging through a backpack and see what she's hiding. But... I still think she's the one. I'm going to blame her. She's the one who killed him. It's her kid. She just threw him down on the streets and shocked him to death. And then that old guy took the the Statue of Liberty and hit him in the head. That's what I'll say. I'm sticking to it. I'll see you next time, gamers. Good night.